All right, boys. Welcome back to the channel. I got three guides coming up for the Demonic Beasts. The three best and fastest teams to be able to clear all three floors. This will be the first team for Bird. It's the tier team. The card set is the Skull and Hadi card sets. It will give you 10% basic stats, but you could also run the card set for Bird. For the gear sets, tier is on attack crit with attack, defense and HP rolls. Freire is on attack crit, Brunhild is on attack crit and Magilda is on attack crit. When you make gear sets, always put the critical damage pieces in the middle or the defense pieces for HP defense. Always put it in the middle. That's the best if you want to change it between units. If you don't know, for Bird Floor 2, you actually need a Taunt unit if you don't want to get one-shotted by the AoE. But if you use these teams I'm going to show you here, you don't actually need a Taunt unit. There is a way to work around that. First turn, just do some damage. Never use the Power Strike card from Brunhild. Just use these other cards. At Phase 4 of Floor 1, you want to have the ultimate from everyone except Brunhild it's not needed but uh, you do need the ultimate from everyone else especially Freyr as well he has a dead damage ultimate you would like to have a rank 2 power strike from Brunhild but with a rank 1 it can also work especially when using this team If you don't know the Holy Relic from Magelda, when you use that heal card, you will buff the team, so you will do more damage. If you're not lucky and he removes the buffs from Brunhild here, she will do a little bit less damage on phase 4. But that's why you need all the other ultimates, especially Magelda's ultimate and Freyr's ultimate. And then one or two power strikes from Brunhild, so you can kill in one turn. So here phase 4, just use the Magelda ultimate, the power strike from Brunhild, then the ultimate from Freyr. But if you have another rank 3 single target from Freyr, you could just use that one, it will do damage. But if you have 6-6 Freyr, you don't even need a 4 to attack. It will just kill. Okay, floor 2. This is the floor where you need a taunt unit on the second phase. But with this team, it's not needed. Just get the ultimate from Freyr on the first phase and you will be able to clear it very easy. So turn one, you just want to move some cards with Freyr and then attack once with Freyr. And then next turn you get his ultimate. Don't kill yet. Wait until you get the ultimate from Freyr and then you can kill. Never use both of the attacks from Freyr. So you can at least get his ultimate next turn. So here we heal of course, because tier takes a lot of damage. You get the ultimate from Freyr and then you just kill. And then next turn you can one shot phase 2. Pretty straightforward and pretty easy with these teams. Use the ultimate from Freyr as the last attack, guys, because on this phase he will have a little revive. So four attacks won't do enough damage because he has damage cap as well. So just use your strongest attacks here. 150k's damage cap. As you can see, and then you can just kill with the ultimate from Freyr. Even a 1-6 Freyr will be able to do this. Very easy. Let's heal to get more HP, of course, but also to buff. And then you want to attack once, guys. Only once here on phase 3. And then the next turn you want to kill. Because when you do too much damage, you will just fully heal again. And you don't want that. But uh, also, if you do too much damage and you don't kill, you will have such an immense attack buff that he will probably kill one of your units or maybe even all of them. 
it depends. But um, you just want to attack once, like you see here, and then the next turn you just kill and try to get most of the ultimates, especially the one from Brunhild, so you can heal the team fully before you go to throw three. So as you can see here, we managed to kill, and now phase four. We just heal once, use the ultimate from Magelda and do some damage, and then next turn we're gonna kill and we're also going to use the ultimate from Brunhild to heal. So we have max health before we go to floor 3. It's very quick and easy with these teams. And I noticed a lot of uh, people in the comment sections of actually other YouTubers were asking for three of the best teams for all the demonic beasts. So I said why not make it myself if they don't make it. That's why I made this guides. We were pretty much at max health, so we didn't have to use the ultimate from Brunhild anyway. Now floor 3 is actually very easy. You just want to do the most damage possible and especially kill as fast as you can every phase. And with this team it's pretty easy. So here, phase one, we're just gonna do some damage. We might even kill. I'm not sure because every time you attack, as you can see here, it gets a blue damage reduction stack. It stacks up to four. So you will do less damage once there are the four stacks here. But with this team, you will do enough damage anyway. Really easy with tier. And actually, if you want to know, guys, the tier team, not exactly the same as this one, but tier and Freyr, you can actually use against all the demonic beasts, except Nidhogger. Nidhogger only has one team at the moment to clear it fast, all three floors. It's the Mael goddess team with the new Margaret and of course Freya with her holy relic. So that's why I'm not gonna make a guide for three of the best teams for Nidhogger. Only for Bird, Deer and Skull and Hadi. Here we are at phase 2. He uh, has a counter, but it's not even a dangerous counter. It doesn't do a lot of damage, so it doesn't really matter. Again, try to do as much damage as possible. And if your health is becoming lower, just try to heal with the ultimate from Brunhild. If she doesn't get targeted, because my Brunhild, I don't know why, is always targeted. But you still have the heal card as well from Megelda. Also, if you have Megelda's Holy Relic, the heal card will also buff the team, like I said. So you will do more damage, which is very good. So here we just kill, get the Freyr ultimate as well. And Magelda's ultimate. So again, phase 3, he also has uh, a counter, but it's the same counter, it doesn't do anything. And I think even on phase 4 he has the counter, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't do any damage because you heal everything back anyway. Phase 3 and phase 4, you can actually one turn them. It's pretty crazy. So here we're at the end, so we're just gonna kill, use the strong single targets and then the ultimates and especially the ultimate from Freyr to be able to kill in one go. If you're not lucky, you will have a revive, but uh, on this one he didn't have the revive. So that's why I told you to use the ultimate from Freyr at the end. Okay, next team is the Demon King team. And we don't have a full Demon team because you don't want to use the taunt units. If you don't have Ultimate Escanor, of course, you can use Blue Chandler with the Taunt. But never forget, on Bird, if you use a Taunt unit, never put Red Tarmia Link. Always put Blue Tarmia Link, or else you get one-shotted anyway by the AoE on Phase 2, Floor 2. And if you don't have this LR Meliodas, you can just use Purgatory Meliodas. It might even be stronger in some cases. Again, we have the Skull and Hardy card set to get 10% basic stat increase. But you could also use the 
Bird card set. Then for the gear sets, Demon King is on attack crit. Don't mind my gear set, guys. Never put, like I said before, the critical damage or the defense pieces like this. Always put them in the middle so we can change them between uh, multiple gear sets. Meliodas is also on attack crit. Escanor is on attack crit. And then again, attack crit for Megelda. You could also run Merlin Link with critical chance on Escanor instead of Roxy if you don't have Roxy. And then you just put Red Tamiya Link or Blue Tamiya Link on Megelda. And then Maya Link on the Demon King. And Red Saria Link on your Meliodas. Okay, floor one. This team is actually pretty insane as well. And like I said, if you can't run this ultimate Escanor because you don't have him, just put Blue Chandler so you can uh, taunt on phase two, floor two. First time we do some damage here on floor one. We could have been able to kill, but I don't want to waste the finger from Escanor. So turn two, we do some more damage and kill, and then we move to the next phase. Okay, phase two. We just heal and then do some uh, damage. Just so you know, guys, very important to know, if you don't have good ultimates, your Magelda is not 6-6, only 1-6. I don't think she will do damage cap on phase four, flow one. But what will do damage cap is a single target from the Demon King. So if you have four single targets from the Demon King at the end, you can actually one turn it just with the Demon King, which is insane. Rank one single targets from the Demon King will almost do damage cap and rank twos will definitely do damage cap. So, Never use the single targets from the Demon King on Flow 1 before you are at Phase 4. And then use them at Phase 4, so you can kill in one turn. As you can see, we're just doing some damage, using the cards we don't need. And if you don't know, the ultimate from Magelda is a Power Strike ultimate, that's why she can do damage cap. But I'm not sure she does damage cap with a uh, 1-6 ultimate, so you will have to test it out. But as you can see here, I have four single targets from the Demon King, so I'm just gonna kill in one turn with the Demon King. Very easy. Flow 1 is done pretty fast with this team. Then we move to floor 2. And this is the floor again where you need the taunt unit. If you don't have a unit that can do extra damage like Freyr or Ultimate Escanor. Instead of this Ultimate Escanor, you could also put Freyr. Just so you know. And if you don't have any of those two units that can do some extra damage. Roxy might be good as well, but if you don't have any of these units, just put Blue Chandler with the Taunt. And never put Red Tarmia Link. Always put Blue Tarmia Link if you have a Taunt unit. Never forget that. We just did some damage on Phase 1, first turn. Of course, Demon King does take some damage here. So we heal this turn. And then we do some more damage and we kill. This is phase two, guys. That's why I never used the finger from Escanor before we went to phase two here. You just want to do your strongest attacks so you can do damage cap and then use the Escanor finger at the end so you can just kill. Very easy. 
then phase three again you only want to attack once guys and then next turn you want to kill so now we just kill pretty easy and as you can see it will fully heal here if you don't kill but luckily the demon king is clutch and it does enough damage because Magelda actually didn't do enough damage here and here it was pretty scary phase 4 because my LR Meliodas has little health but um, when you use the heal card from Magelda she will remove one of the debuffs you have on top of you and I was very lucky she removed the debuff from Meliodas very lucky so I could heal and now next turn we're just gonna kill that's why maybe even purgatory melee is better than LR Meliodas so maybe you want to try and run purgatory Meliodas instead but I just love to use this LR Meliodas that's why I use him Okay, floor 3. First turn we will have to heal. Because our team is getting a bit low here on health. So first turn we heal. And then this time you can use the Eskinor finger if you want to. You just want to kill as fast as possible like I said before. Every time you attack he will get a damage reduction on top of him. You gotta keep that in mind. Four stacks is the max you can get on top of him. But uh, the damage you do will be a lot less. He also seals your rank 2 skills the second turn. So let's uh, do some damage with the Demon King instead. It wasn't much, but luckily we could heal as well. And now we're taking a bit more damage, but it doesn't really matter. We will still be able to kill and heal. So here we just kill. And then we move to the next phase. Yeah, the Demon King is way too strong. Once he's buffed, he's way too strong. So I actually didn't have to use all of these attacks. Okay, phase 2 again, just do enough damage. As you can see, now he doesn't have that counter on phase 2. So I think this is the one where on phase 4 he will have a revive. And he will revive with half of his health. That is something pretty annoying. But it doesn't matter. We killed in one turn. Which is pretty good. Only phase 1 is really tanky. After that it's actually pretty easy. So here let's see if we could kill in one turn. I'm not sure. Yeah I think we do. Yeah we're gonna kill in one turn. Perfect. Yeah this Demon King is insane. Very good for a lot of Demonic Beasts as well. And then we are at the final phase. And here he will have his little revive. So when he doesn't have those counters, that stands with that counter, on phase 4 he will have a revive. As you can see. So now we just kill next turn and it's done. Pretty easy with this team. Eskinor can die, it doesn't really matter. Even if you lose a unit here, it's the last phase. If the Demon King doesn't die, you're good. Now we just kill. Very easy, very fast. Always try to kill in two turns. Floor three. That's the best. Don't try to stall too much. 
Now for the last team is my favorite team for Bird. It's with Roxy and Escanor. For the card set we again have the Skull and Hardy card set to increase the basic stats by 10%. But like I said before you can also run the Bird card set. So your single targets will increase by 20%. I'm having Red Tarmia link on my Megilda again. But you could put the Red Tarmia link on your Brunhild if she dies too quickly. Maybe because her health is the lowest. That's probably why he focuses on my Brunhild. For the gear sets, attack rate for Megilda, attack rate for Roxy, attack rate for Escanor and attack rate for Brunhild. Just to be able to do the most damage and to farm the quickest. But this team is insane guys. Because single targets that will crit will do extra damage because of the Roxy passive. So that's why this team is my favorite team for this. Okay, floor one, turn one. We're just gonna kill in one turn here. Very easy to do that with this team. Then we move to the next phase. Here, we just do some attacks. We also give our team the attack buff with the heal card from Magelda. It only works when you have the whole relic from her. And then actually the Escanor finger can almost one shot this phase. So it's still a one turn clear. Then phase three, again we do some damage here. We don't have the strongest attacks, so we're just gonna do this here. But uh, try to get the ultimates, maybe even Escanor, but especially Megelda. You need the ultimate from Megelda because it's a power strike. And never use the power strike cards from Brunhild. Always keep them for the last phase, or else you won't do damage. So try to get maybe multiple power strikes from Brunhild if you're lucky, so you're sure you can kill. So here we got all the ultimates, just not the one from Brunhild because you don't need it, that won't do damage anyway. So let's use all the ultimates here and then the power strike. You might not want to use the ultimate from Roxy. Instead of the ultimate from Roxy, just use another power strike. Or else you might not kill because my Roxy is 6-6. Six, six. Okay, floor 2. Again, this is the floor where on phase 2 you need the taunt units to not get one-shotted by the AoE. But if you have this team, it's not even needed. You can just use one of the strong single targets and you will be able to kill. Here I used the Escanor finger as well and that was not that smart. I should have used another attack instead of the Escanor finger. Because uh, you want to make sure you can definitely kill in one turn. But I was very lucky here with the card so I'm gonna kill anyway. So let's do this and the final attack should be critting as well. You always want to use the last attack, an attack that will definitely crit. So maybe a Roxy attack or Escanor finger. But as you can see here, I was pretty lucky with the damage and you already got past the revive. So Brunhild just killed. Okay, phase three again, only attack once, very important. But with this team, it's actually not needed. If you have multiple Escanor fingers and Roxy single targets, you can just use those four cards and then you will definitely kill. Because there is damage cap here, but if you get past the damage cap, you can just kill. So here, let's kill. If you crit with the ultimate from Roxy, it also works for a passive. So you will do some extra damage. And then phase 4, very easy as well. We just heal, or try to heal, but uh, we won't be able to heal. 
because our healing is sealed. But it doesn't matter, I'm using the heal skill just to buff the attack of the team. And that would just kill. Very easy, very fast with this team. It's insane. Then we are at the last floor. We don't have max health, but it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna heal the first turn here. So phase one, let's heal and then uh, do some damage. I don't think we one turn it phase one because it's pretty tanky. No, we won't one turn it, but it doesn't matter. Still pretty good damage. And then uh, we're gonna kill next turn and then starting phase two, it will be very easy to kill in one turn, especially with this team. Again, turn two, your rank two skills will be sealed. So you just want to use rank one skills, but we're gonna kill anyway. So that's why I'm using the rank two skill AOE from Roxy. We don't need that. It's not strong at all. Those AOEs, you want to get rid of them. Uh, I completely forgot we actually didn't kill. <laughs> so maybe I should have used another attack to be able to kill. Luckily Brunhild didn't die here, or else I would have to restart. But yeah, it's done anyway. So now he's dead. And we move to the next phase. I hope we get a heal card, I can't remember. We didn't get a heal card, but luckily we do have the ultimate from Brunhild. That's why we did that, so we can heal the team. And we should be able to kill in one turn here. Phase 2, 3 and 4 on floor 3 are not that tanky as the first phase. As you can see, pretty easy. Very fast with this team. This is the fastest team to clear bird with. I really hope you don't hear the music guys. Somebody is playing really loud music here. Pretty annoying. I just hope it is not noticeable in the recording. We actually didn't clear in one turn, phase three. That's pretty insane. But yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. Let's kill this turn and then move to phase four. And again, he will have the revive because he doesn't have those stances that has reflect. But with this team, you can get around that. So let's use all these attacks here and we should be able to kill. Let's see. Hmm, we might not kill. No, we don't kill in one turn. Doesn't really matter. Okay, never mind. It's two different passives. I thought when the bird on floor three didn't have those reflects, he would um, revive at phase four. But uh, as you can see, it's not always the case. So I think it's different passives from the bird, but it doesn't really matter anyway. Even if he has the revives, you just kill next turn, doesn't matter. And those were the runs for bird, the three best and fastest teams to run on bird. I hope you can at least make one of them. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, please like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. See you next time. Peace out.